what's going on where did I go wrong are we live heck yeah we're live so that's what I want to do I've pulled up a couple different ones we might bounce back and forth between see what we really like you can find your favorite one this one is actually from several years ago someone just put together an example like clearly they were just trying to learn uh, so they got a large number of stars and things like that uh, and I like this particular page by Zachary uh, Karis and Nizgan because it's just very functional just these are my imports now I'm gonna build my generator build my discriminator very simple not trying to do convolutions or anything else uh, then it's the combined network the GAN of course and then he's got a couple things to plot and do his training uh, which I feel like is basically what I was doing before but yeah we'll see where perhaps I might might have gone wrong uh, and I hate to copy paste everything oh he uses TQDM too that's super cool I hate to copy paste so my goal will be to just pull the things that we need some of this stuff we might just I might copy paste this you know although this is using Keras directly we'll be using Keras within TensorFlow so a couple things are already gonna be different that's not what I want that's what I want uh, I've already done the import for TensorFlow but let's do that over here flow STF and all of those things and actually what I want to do go over here startup list yeah let's come over here and grab some of these things we just grab all these things actually all these things I'm probably gonna need them all right of course we want to plot because I love plotting it's the best what other stuff has he got here reshape dense drop out flatten uh, I don't think we're needing dropout. But like, he's not seriously using that, is he? He's got leaky relus. Uh, we'll just use relus. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Keras dot layers. I don't think that's not a layer. It's an activation. What do I do over here? Activation. Yes. So that's how we'll do that. Uh, there. Or we'll just use the activation in the layer itself. Not a big deal. Not going to be exactly the same. So. He jumps right into it. Oh, and MNIST, right. That's something we're going to need. So, from tensorflow.keras.datasets import MNIST, which I believe we probably did over here too. No, uh, actually, probably not because we were not using that. So, MNIST, and then you can load the data with this. Uh, this, I will do this. What does he, does he do here? He turns them all into floats. Sure. I will grab that. That I'm totally cool with. That's not a problem. Load in this data. Do that over there. And we're just going to be following along, trying to see what's going on. Uh, he had, you know, 100 random numbers in his, like, latent space. Uh, I'm going to have fewer than that. Random dim. He's camel caser, though. Uh-oh. Uh, we'll do 64. I like powers of 2. Powers of 2 are the best. This just takes your data and uh, normalizes it a little bit puts it on a range like, like negative one to positive one is that right uh, yeah numpy dot min numpy dot max I should say of x train probably one yeah interesting choice but it doesn't really matter you could scale it to something else you could normalize it exactly one standard deviation kind of thing I'm not too worried about it okay he likes to use Adam as an optimizer I'll borrow that sure I don't know why he futzes around with the beta. People, I feel like, rarely do that. Uh, Adam is not defined. Oh no. This is an optimizer. Adam, over here. There we go. Adam. What is this beta value? Beta 1. 0.9, he likes 0.5. Da -da 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 -da. You can read about it more here. Epsilon might be good, might not be good default. Da, 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 sparse implementation. Exponential decay rate for the first moment estimates. Oh, okay, okay. So he's doing less decay. Sure, we'll stick with that uh, for the fun. Uh, and then he's got a model where he takes 256 inputs and he keeps making this bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, right, he needs to get to 784 in the end. Right. Uh, yes, so what we're going to do. Oh my gosh, what? This is wild. I don't know why you would do your initializers that way. I think that's very strange. 
uh, generator equals sequential. Make a new model. That's a sequential model. And we say generator dot add. We'll add a new layer. That layer is going to be a dense layer, right? We'll do two fifty six, sure. And we'll say our input dim is equal indeed to random dim. Uh, and I need my activation, right? I guess I could add that later. I tend to like to add it in the model itself. That's just a little easier for me to... Oh my gosh, was it not doing anything with those here? Maybe that's part of a problem. Maybe my old model was all linear. I would feel dumb then. Oh my gosh, was that the problem? Was it an entirely linear model? Hang on. That was an LCM based model. That's an old thing. Never mind, never mind. Uh, make names, sort of, hang on. Do, do, do. Had a bunch of these things. Get names, generator. I don't think this was, oh, this is someone else's thing. Never mind. Oh well, yeah, I like to do activations right on the line. Activation equals, I don't know, we'll just do ReLU. Not too particular about it. Because then I can just add another line that says, I don't know, 512. Obviously, we don't need it input dimension anymore. Keep the ReLU. Uh, yes, he's doing leakiness. I'm not too concerned. 1024. Don't need anything super fancy. And then 748 in the end. Seven, sorry, 784. Uh, and our activation now will be sigmoid. Will be tan H? What? All right, sure. You want to do that way? We'll do tan H. Doesn't really matter. Uh, you'll get there eventually, whether you're doing 0, 1, or. Like I said, not a big deal. And then, do the compilation. Ooh, what's going on? Here we go. Generator.compile. And we need to give it what the loss function is binary cross entropy. You're saying yes, no. Of course. Uh, well, you're saying yes, no for every single one of these little positions, right? That's that's sort of how the generator works. Really, the generator doesn't get its own loss. Like, the generator only feeds into the discriminator, and that's what gets a loss. So, whatever, we'll, we'll put it in here. Doesn't really matter. Binary, cross entropy, cross entropy, yes. Make sure I'm spelling that correctly. Cross entropy, uh, an optimizer equals atom, yeah. Optimizer equals atom. Sure, that's fine. That's totally cool. Uh, then you need a discriminator. Discriminator. This is what's going to tell you is this a true object? Is this actually a digit? Or is this just nonsense? So I'll make another model here. This is going to take in 784 things, right? The pixel values that we're going to give it. And what does he do? He starts out at 1024. Sure. That's quite a lot, but you know, is what it is. 1024. And then you do a few layers of that. Note that this is not a convolutional model at all. Very simple. That's fancy. And he's downscaling here. 1024, 512, 256, down to 1. Oh, and he's doing dropout. Interesting. Uh, we can do some dropout, sure. I don't know how he came up with 0.3. I guess there's no uh, other regularization going on here. Uh, tf.keras.layers.dropout? Yeah, dropout. Okay, cool. cool. Uh, let me grab this one. Dropout. Cool. Uh, we will do some dropout here. Generator.add. Dropout. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Drop equals 0.2. And drop out, make sure I look at this correctly. Fraction input units to drop, yes. Uh, you know what, he has 0.3, we'll stick with 0.3. I find that unusual, but whatever. Not a big deal at all. Get down to 5, 256 here. How many layers does he got? He gets 256 and then he goes to the end. Okay, cool. You have one output, and that's. He's using tan H again. Again, we'll we'll stick with it. That's fine. Uh, maybe we'll futz around if this works quickly. 
by works meaning generate something. It can take a while though. Uh, not generate without loss. Oh no, what have I done here? I see I've not labeled these correctly. Turn all those generator words into discriminators. There we go. I'm a little concerned that we're using the exact same optimizer, but we're not actually going to do anything directly on the generator, so maybe it's about not a problem at all. Uh, so that makes the discriminator. Then you need to make your combined network. And it's here that you say, oh, this discriminator is not trainable. So for this, this is going to be a little goofy. But we'll sure, we'll follow this. Now this sets it false for the entire thing. Although is it after you compile it, maybe that's not the case? Uh, that's interesting, interesting quandary. Do I have this? I don't. Let's create this just so we have it, make sure things are still working. Cool. Generator. Can I get a summary? Probably not. Can I get a summary if I spell it correctly? Oh, I can. It's got 1.4 million parameters, way too many in my opinion. Uh, there's a little bit of symmetry going on here from whatever the input is, the 784 up to this, uh, or not 7, whatever the input is, 100 up to these things and then back down. But that's kind of fun. Come down here, make our discriminator. All right, combined model. Yeah, which trains GAN, which trains the gen. Right, the discriminator can work on its own. But the generator can only learn from the discriminator. Okay, okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, he's, yes, yeah, so you have to make a model object here. But I believe I should have something like that. Uh, da, 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 sequential. Do I have input as a thing? Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. tf.keras.layers.input. Oh, I don't need a, a model object. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, that's, that's convenient. Input. GAN equals input. And what do we do? Yes, you take as your input these guys. Uh, oh, but it has to be a tuple. OK, fine. A tuple. The random numbers you'll put in that it will seed your generator to produce something interesting. Uh, can I just add another thing? Is that a thing I can do? No, no, it looks like he... What is this nonsense? X equals generator can input. But you call generator on that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Gan in. Gen out equals generator of can in. And then discrim out. It's going to be discriminator of gen out. Right? Yes. And really, this is, oh boy, what did I do? Uh, this is not discriminator output, this is the gan output itself. Yes, and then we create a model, an actual model model like this. So you do need that. All right, all right. Get that, get that. Equals model and your inputs. It's just one thing though, right? I feel like there's probably a way to get away with. Scan in and our outputs equals scan out. Right? Scan in, scan out. All right, and then we'll say scan dot compile, and we'll get our super cool thing going on. Uh, loss is still binary cross entropy cross entropy right the optimizer is still Adam same one that's slightly concerns me they were using the exact same object but we'll see how it goes if that's problematic you know it's problematic uh, he's keeping around a bunch of losses I'm not as concerned about that I mean yeah that's good but yeah okay 
those are those things. Let's we have our discriminator. Let's make our take a look at our models. And that summary, this is not gonna be as interesting. Yes. There's an input layer one, there's an input output layer two. Yes. Not so exciting. Not in comma sixty four. Yes. Good, good, good. The key I do like his little plot generated images thing. Why is this taking epic? Create a wall of generated MNIST images. What? That's kind of fancy. Star epic, like every epic? What? Hang on, let me understand what the heck's going on here. How many examples do you want? A 10 by 10. Right, so like this should all be put together. Generate some random noise. Uses this generator to predict things. Reshapes it into the expected shape. Yeah, this is provided you already have your generator. So like the epic, okay, he doesn't actually use that. That's just, he's gonna call this later. Okay, okay. Now I see, now I see. I'm okay copying this then, that's fine. Uh, but I'm not doing any of this epic stuff. I'm not, I'm certainly not gonna save these images, no. Not happening. I just wanna see the output there. Uh, that should be fine. And again, that'll just save us some, a little bit of headache. Oh, come on. Really? Really, pal? Really? Yes, okay, I forgot my auto indent, so I got burned on that. There we go, much better. Another reason to avoid copy paste. Be very careful. Uh, in fact, let me set no paste. Force myself to not do that. I'm not worried about saving the models. That's not not a big deal. I don't need to define a train function and then just have yeah, and he calls it down here. Give me that silly Python two stuff. This is garbage, garbage. Uh, where does he get his batch count from? Ah, here we go. I just said I'm not going to copy paste, but how many batches do we need to do in our data? Well, it depends on the batch size. Uh, batch size, I don't know, 32. That sounds good to me. What does he use? He uses 128, doesn't he? Down here. Uh, okay, sure. 128. We'll do that. See if I get burned by that or not. So, batch count to get in the camel case. It's going to kill me here. Oh, but he's in Python. Gotta fix this a little bit. Python 3 if I it. Batch count. We'll be slightly low, but that's that's fine. I don't really care. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. We're working through the tutorial. Just trying to make sure we can recreate it. it takes a little bit of time, but it's been only 15 minutes. Making good progress. Alright. So I'm just going to go ahead down, down here for I in batch. Uh, for I and range batch count, excuse me. Uh, TQDM range batch count. There we go. That is what I want. We're not actually going to use I, but that's fine. Uh, get some random data. This is going to seed things for the batch. That's good. Yes. Uh, so random, normally distributed data between 0 and 1, because apparently that's fine. You could generate random data on different sizes. We got a 32 bit floats here, uh, but that apparently is the way we're going to be generating data of size, batch size, and whatever your random dimension is. Okay, fine. Uh, you grab your batch, right? Image batch, and this is pulling the relevant component of. Well, he's randomly doing it every time. What? What? That is crazy town. That is absolute bonkers. No, we're not doing that. That's insane. Unless is the X. Hang on. Uh, not Y. Y train. Ugh. I could have sworn. I do not believe they're in a particular order. Y train. Why is that not capitalized? I don't know. Yeah, they're in kind of an arbitrary order. That's absolutely wild. I will certainly not train by randomly selecting. I will 
step through my batches like an orderly person. That is insane in the membrane. Okay. A time, I times batch size. The batch size camel case is going to screw me up. Uh, I plus one times batch size. Watch Q uh, 15 minutes from now. Why is this wrong? Oh, because I'm not doing random selections. Grab next batch. Okay, cool. Uh, make fake images. Make fakes. Uh, what does he call it here? Generated images. I'm just going to call them fakes. That's, if that's okay. Generator.predict image batch. Just put that, dump that, or noise. Noise, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fine. Make our fakes, and then he adds them onto the end of the. Uh, and then mix. I don't know, I'll call it mixed. Eh, I guess X is fine. Concatenate, and it's going to be image batch, comma fakes. Yes. Labels. Labels are good gravy. What is this Y distance nonsense? One sided label smoothing? What? This is strange. Okay, why don't I just see my labels? You know, I think that would be a little bit easier to understand. Two times batch size. Sure. And then, da -da 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 I'm not going to do label smoothing. I think that's strange. Uh, I don't know about it. I don't understand it, so that's why I'm not going to do it. There might be very good reasons for doing it. I'm not familiar with that, so I'm not going to do so. Okay. Du -du 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 -du. Then we train the discriminator. Discriminator. So you turn it on the weights. You turn on the training weights. You make the weights trainable, I should say. Make them be trainable. And then we'll do a what a train on batch yeah equals discriminator dot train on batch and you have to put in yeah what are the things I'm training on these are my x's these are my labels uh, except <laughs> uh, labs of up to batch size are equal one those are true objects the other ones are all zeros. Uh, now I'm thinking about this like how do you keep your GAN from just learning one learning one input and always doing that regardless of what inputs it gets I don't know how can you break the GAN things like that like why couldn't I just train again and you know memorize one thing one input that's true I mean it never gets to see the true inputs I guess uh, only in very indirectly is it trained in this fashion okay oh well Da, 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 da. This is what we train the discriminator on. That's great. Train discriminator. And then we will say train generator. And the way we do that, you make more noise? Yeah, sure, why not? Make some more noise. Do, 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 do. do this, which means need more fakes. No, that's not correct. Train the generator. He makes more noise. I'm sorry, what? And then, yes, you try to fool. These are all ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, because they're all. Yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. I hear you. And we say discriminator, not trainable false and then we just go ahead and say g loss equals gan dot <laughs> train on batch put in the noise and labels are all numpy dot ones of batch size note that you're using half as much data here so that could be another thing your discriminator might be getting more and more information so maybe there's another place I was I was screwing up somehow. Uh, not with this though. Um, come on. Uh, 
Yeah, this this might be something I was doing wrong. Because here I was doing all this expanded stuff. So this was false. Yeah, fake data. Only on the fake data. The discriminator. Oh, it trained with each piece separately? Then maybe that was a problem. This needed to be one big batch. Make one big batch? Question mark, question mark. That could have been the issue. Because it just learns one thing and then the other, one thing and then the other. Which is a little bit goofy here. It is one batch. And what the goof did I do? There we go. Okay. That will make that. I don't really care to keep these losses around. I'm not going to plot all these things. I just kind of want to run this and see what happens. Batch size. Batch size, 128. Like, how long does this take? How long is this going to be? 468 batches. The whole thing will take, you know, probably 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Okay, probably 40 to 45 seconds in total per epic. Uh, which is fine, totally fine. Uh, we can futz around with the model to make that a little bit faster. And is he, did he estimate how long it takes before it starts looking halfway decent? Actually, one minute on such and such, such and such. Wow, that's, oh, this is a different thing, isn't it? No, it's the same thing. That's DC GAN, regular GAN. 10 seconds on there, super sweet GPU. Well, yes. I don't have the super sweet GPU. Generating at 200 epics seen below. Yeah, these got a little bit more junk going on. It looks like it takes, you know, maybe 10 epics to get to a decent location. Uh, however, I want to see what we got. Yeah, I, I want to know. Plot. Stop it. Uh, there we go. Plot. What is it? Generated images. Plot generated images. Let me just grab this. So I get to be using a function I didn't write myself. Uh, yes. I'm surprised that doesn't take, like, you know, the model to use. Generated images. Generated. Like, where? Generator, yeah. Like, it should take generator. In fact, I'm going to require it to take generator. I want to be able to pass that in at any time. Plot generated images with generator. And like, what kind of garbage does this look like? Okay. So yes, this looks like garbage. Uh, which is, you know, to be expected. I don't actually want 10 by 10 anymore. I think that's too many things. But you can see like in the center, it realizes, yeah, there's some stuff I should do. Also, all of these look very similar. Not exactly the same, but very similar. Light around the outside, kind of darker in the middle. Looks like a blob of numbers. Uh, so I like that for E in range 10. Do this. Yeah, perhaps now I'm wishing I uh, was keeping that around. Now I will not just keep you occupied for, for 10 minutes. That is not fair at all, but I'm gonna let that work. I want to see if I can come back here and fix up our old data. Because uh, that's clearly it's doing something, right? I think, yeah, this one big batch, this might be the problem in this equation. So, let's make this up here. And then make like a temporary data. We got concatenate. Oh. Sorry, I got all distracted as a lizard on my wall outside. Super cool fellow. Okay, uh, one hot data. This thing. And gen data. There we go. And we'll do the same for our outputs. Concatenate. Like, obviously fake out should still just be fake where the heck is fake out even defined like it's it should be all like zeros or whatever I don't know I don't know man I don't know okay but whatever it's fine fake out 
config out from start to stop. There we go. And then let me just comment out those lines. Come over here. Instead of gen data, X. Instead of fake out, Y. Y like that. There we go. And will this work any better? Is the the quandary, or is this model that I concocted just kind of broken? Uh, is it too big? Trying to do too much at once, maybe. Uh, that very well could be a problem. Could it be that it has to take a long time to learn? But it looked like it got kept getting stuck. Uh, so that made me suspicious. Certainly for images, it's a little bit easier to understand. All right, and again, let me look at his his overall loss. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six or seven, like 10 epics, it really starts to get there in terms of the generator. The discriminator starts very well because it's pretty easy initially. Uh, and then turns levels off amazingly quickly. What is his DC? Oh, his DC is probably deep convolutional. What is going on here? This is interesting that it's like still bouncing all around. Very interesting. The DC GAN part, you're actually building a convolutional network. Uh, and that's what. Where is this going? Oh, he takes random numbers, COM2D, upsampling. All that kind of good stuff. All right, so I'm going to let this finish this particular iteration, and then I'll interrupt and take a look and see what the results are. And then we will devote the rest of the time, if I we have reasonable results, uh, we'll devote the rest of the time to trying to patch up what remains. And if that's still a bust, it's still a bust, and that's it is what it is. Sometimes you, you gotta cut your losses a little bit. I'm on the wrong file. I'm over here. That's what I wanted. The thing is, do these look like numbers? I don't think these look really anything more like numbers. They look all kind of similar, but not really like numbers to me, is the thing. Generator not predict. I have a question. If I just put in a bunch of zeros, what happens? Just humor me. You know, of one comma, what did I say? Random dim. I don't have to remember this. You can to remember for me. Just, you know, something like this. And I want to know, what does that look like? Uh, reshape this into a 28 by 28 thing. The input size. And I make the color map plot.cm.gray reversed. So that's you know the zero zero option. What about ones? Because that was the other option, the absolute other end of the spectrum. Now those all look very similar to me. In fact, I would like to see how different they look. A B. I want to plot A minus B actually. No no no! Come on. There we go. I just want to know how different are these things, really. All right, they appear to be randomly different. Are they scales very different? A, B, A. Oh, A is much bigger, or much, much larger in scale, right? B, like two orders of magnitude smaller. And yet B has such a very similar look. That is interesting. That is very, very interesting to me. Exact same look, but very different values. Plant that figure. And we'll do the same thing. What were they? You'll see. Here's A. Like, it looks very similar. It's much more strident, I guess. This is more blurry. And again, kind of a generic, generic figure would take many more uh, iterations to actually get there. 
All right, maybe I will let this run a little bit longer then. I hate to have that be like the thing that's on screen. Just watch this progress bar, guys. And watch progress bar not only once, but watch it like, you know, five times. But gains ain't cheap. Uh, you, the generator happens has to happen to like get lucky, pick something that's a little bit harder for it to pick off. Uh, in fact, let's D losses. Yeah, I, I will go back to this. That was a good idea. Now that I'm doing this, D loss out of pen. Not that I'm like I'm gonna redo this right now, but. Just so we can have it in the future in case I want to futz around with this. Okay, but I feel like this model is the same thing. Right, and now that I have one big batch here, so I don't need that note to myself anymore. I make the discriminator not trainable when I'm training the GAN, and I make the discriminator yes trainable when I'm training the discriminator. I do this twice so that it gets the same amount of you know, niceness. What is fake? Why one minus fake out? Isn't fake out just zero? Gotta make myself come all the way up here. Fake out. It's just zeros. Oh well. I could just say ones just as easily, but apparently I wanted to do that to myself. Yeah, and the generator. I feel like this has got to be. That has to be why. This, this was what it was. Uh, yes, yeah, just on X, Y. That's all well and good. Actually, I want to pull this up just so I can see that. Check the validation data. Show some generator output. Review the generator. Yeah, what kind of numbers am I getting? Three more epics here. I think I'll, I'll kill this then. I had a chance to do plenty of things. I will give it one more chance to generate some hopefully interesting images. Yeah, it just takes a while, I think. They all tend to look about the same. Some of these are lighter than others. They all look a bit like a mean image, I suspect. Like, what does a mean digit look like? Uh, if we take numpy.mean of. Uh, hang on, what is xtrain.shape? Yeah. Of x train dot reshape negative one comma oh actually no I don't want to do this not by that mean x is equals zero right and whatever the shape of that is yeah reshape that uh, reshape twenty eight comma twenty eight and if we plot dot im show this with color map equals Plot.cm. Gray R. Uh, actually, it's, it's rather different than quite what it's coming up with, but not super different, right? And if I say plot. show like a A, say. Uh, nah, let's do B. <laughs> I think B was a little more clear. Yeah, if you step back, step back from your screen. You literally pull your face back. Sometimes this is very helpful to gain a little bit of perspective. Uh, you can see there is some kind of crossy thing here. It's in the same general shape. It slants down to the left a little bit. There's some darkness here. I find it interesting the average number. It looks so much like a nine. Like, I would call that a nine, frankly. But that's me, that's what I would do. Okay, let me, let me just kill this session entirely. Come back here. Come back over here. Let's reboot this. And we're gonna see if this model, if that's all I needed to fix. Maybe that's not all I needed to fix. And if I needed to fix more, I don't think we're gonna get there today. Uh, dealing with text, bit of a pain. But that's, that's why we're doing this. Make our data. Oh boy. Didn't like something. What didn't it like? Oh, I'm in the wrong directory. Silly me. Come on. What? 
Where am I? Oh boy. I don't know how I ended up there. Not where I wanted to be. Okay. Reading our data. Reading and data. Cool. Those are all our things. Make some sparse data. Make our generator model. Also, our model is very simple here. So that could also be part of the equation. I don't really need the encoder part. Um, I, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to train with the autoencoder, like pre-train this time. Uh, let's not do anything with that. Don't think I need that. OK, cool, cool. Train our, or not train, but create our discriminator. Create the GAN itself. Cool. Uh, we should sample from the actual encoded space, not randomly. Well, it's whatever space that we're choosing to sample from, really. But sure, we'll do this. Oh, I don't have this. Do I have this? Hang on. Yeah, I don't have an encoder right now. <laughs> okay, uh, in that case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say mu equal the mean value is zero, standard deviation is one. <laughs> Make my life simple. Much simpler. Oh, come on. D -d 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 -d. What's the problem? What's the problem? Is everybody going to want to support iteration? What? Oh, I need this for every every position right that is the problem sparse data that shape uh, it's not the sparse data it's how we're whatever the size of my latent space is which is da -da -da -da, like whatever the GAN input size is n space there's four numbers not a lot going on but that's okay so numpy dot zeros dot zeros of n space. Here we'll say numpy dot ones of n space. Let's see if that does what I want. Yeah, there we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Big data. All our numbers, there we go. One standard deviation. Okay, now we've got our this bit which I is not correct. Skip that. Don't, yeah, don't do that. This isn't right, you know? This only trains the discriminator on this. This only trains the GAN. Yeah, that don't, don't, just don't do that. This can recreate the GAN in an instant, which could be part of our difficulty here. Okay, this is all fine. Batch size is all fine. That's how we make a name. So we make a name for ourselves, you know? And I'm splitting up my data. I'm training the GAN part, the generator. I'm training the discriminator. We're just doing some checking down here. I want to see, does this do something or does it still look terrible? So we got to run air checking, expecting to put the have shape, whatever. If I got array with shape, whatever, whatever. Apparently I never updated one of my things. Interesting. Oop, hang on. Yeah, this should be end space, shouldn't it? End space. That's the problem. That's the problem. I keep changing how big my end space is. All right, do this. Okay. That gives me my GAN. Okay. Now let's try this. See this goes. Okay, the good news is it looks like a full a full set's only gonna take about, you know, 30 seconds in total. One epic with this magic data that I've created. But we'll see if after one epic it actually looks interesting or not. Where interesting can be like, yeah, you tend to get this a lot of the same kind of thing, but it doesn't necessarily. Yeah, right, there's a lot of the same kind of thing, but it's not all hot garbage. It's not all exactly the same. These are eerily similar though, which is, you know, 
concerning to me. Uh, but as long as we generate data the same way here, as we do, the same way when we train as when we predict with it, then we should be okay. Uh, I don't think I needed to be as paranoid about the latent space unless I was actually using that autoencoder, which is not necessary. But I thought that would be a cool thing. All right, this is good. We have you know a reasonable number of outputs. The fact that they don't look good is fine. Uh, I'm I'm okay with this. What is this 1.0? Printing. All insulin plant and divided by two times number of values. This is how the discriminator is doing. And the discriminator is currently perfect. Well, you know, it's like that. And it's still perfect. Okay, but again, still slightly diverse outputs. As I recall doing this last time, it was absolutely terrible. It's determined that, yes, N's and S's tend to be very popular in startup names. Perhaps a little too popular. Uh, new lines tend to go near the end. It's kind of obvious things. I do want to see just like how does this climb out of anything or is it just getting worse and worse and worse and worse? Are we ever going to trick the discriminator? We have the vowel. I'd like to buy a vowel. There's a vowel over here. So many ends. This is slightly disturbing, I'll say. Only slightly disturbing. All right, I'm gonna let it finish this epic, and then I'm gonna take a closer look at the mean values. And if those are bad, well, well, we'll see. I will let it train for a little bit longer while I eat some dinner and maybe report back later. This is curious. This is not a feature I would have expected. What? If, hang on. This is, I gotta remember what I'm doing. These are different letters. This is the position. Interesting, like every other position here, uh, the probability changes. A little bit higher, a little bit lower, a little bit higher, a little bit lower. No particular value is super high though. Although this, some of these are different. So, like new lines, every other, that is so strange. And what is this? This is in position 13. At 27. I assume this is ends, and this is something else. This is so strange. Tell you what, I'm just gonna let this train for a bit, think about what it's done, and then uh, I will report back later. Let's see, each one takes, yeah, it's 100 epics. Eh, you know what, it's still like 300 or something. Just let it go, do its thing. I think I'm going to call out there tonight a little bit early, uh, just for sanity's sake. I've been banging on this game for a while. We got through the tutorial. That seemed to work okay. Uh, I think doing it with images gives you a little bit easier feedback. You can definitely see, oh, we're getting closer, whereas with words and letters, it's not as easy to see. We're getting closer, because like, it still looks like garbage to you as a human being. Uh, but that is what it is. All right. Thanks, everyone, for coming to watch. I don't know what we're going to be looking at next week. Ugh, that's terrible. Uh, but we will see uh, what we're doing. If I can just find like a data set, uh, look at some bad data, I might do that. I wanted to try to find like excess mortality rate, uh, but I could not find data on this except for like the United Kingdom, uh, which was a little bit annoying to me, but that's how it is. Oh well, stay safe in the data mines.